First police making an arrest in a Christmas Day shooting. Glad you're with us. I'm Lisa Bell. And I'm Justin Warmuth in from Matt Austin. You're watching News 6 at 530. Osceola County deputies were called to Cafe Lungo on Vineland Road in Kissimmee early Christmas morning for reports of a shooting. When they arrived, they found a victim already dead. Officials sent us photos of this man last week saying they wanted to talk to him about the shooting. Tonight, he's behind bars. News 6's Brian Didlake explains what we know so far tonight. Also, the county deputies say shots rang out just before 5 a.m. here at Cafe Lungo. But before those shots rang out, deputies say that there was some sort of conflict between the suspect, Gabriel Correa, and a staff member. One man standing in the parking lot was caught in the crossfire while standing next to his car. Based on this investigation, our detectives obtained sufficient evidence to indicate that Gabriel Alberto Correa shot and killed our victim. A sheriff Marcos Lopez announcing the arrest of this man, 26 year old Gabriel Correa. He is facing multiple charges, including murder with a firearm. Lopez in his briefing says this all started after a conflict between Correa and a staff member early Christmas morning at Cafe Lungo. The sheriff describes the cafe as an after hours hookah lounge. Osceola County deputies say they were first called to the area for reports of a shooting, but when they arrived, they found one man dead. That man later identified as Terrell Williams. The victim was a patron. He was actually outside going to his car. So, you know, he was just there, um, bar, and uh, happened just to be caught in the crossfire. Investigators say after Williams was shot, he tried to get help by going back into Cafe Lungo. He was let in, but then collapsed. Deputies sent out this picture from surveillance video showing the moments Correa ran away from the scene. The Sheriff Marcos Lopez says Correa was later arrested in Polk County where he was questioned. And he also admitted to being involved in a shooting. He stated he had seen the press release we put out with his photograph and actually visited an attorney. Lopez says this incident could have been prevented. The guy leaves upset for some reason and he starts shooting at the business. He actually shot at the business. I don't know if just the music was loud or if no one heard, but you know, if, if someone would have, it could have been prevented. Did they say what type of confrontation this was? Was it over a particular? And that's what we're still looking into as this investigative keeps unfolding. It was some type of a disagreement inside the bar. I mean, we don't know. It could have been, you know, unhappy with a bar tab. The Sheriff Lopez goes on to confirm no relationship between Terrell and Correa, but says going forward, they're still investigating what happened during the dispute between Correa and a staff member. And once we learn more details about that, We'll get back to you on air and online. But for now, we are in Osceola County. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.